Hello learners. Welcome back to PHE Gyan, your best source of knowledge about physical education. I hope you have been enjoying my previous videos and gaining valuable insight into the world of physical education. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss notifications of our new videos. Today, I have again brought another test for you, Harvard Step Test. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of this test, let's learn about its interesting history. The Harvard Step Test was developed by Lucien Bruja, full name Lucien Antoine Maurice Bruja, in 1943 at Harvard University, Massachusetts. He designed this test to measure cardiovascular endurance or aerobic endurance. This test evaluates how quickly a person's heart rate returns to normal after a period of vigorous exercise. And the best part is that it uses easily available and cost-effective tools. Now let's talk about the equipment you will need for this test. Make sure you have the following items ready before performing the test. A metronome, a sturdy 20-inch high bench or platform, a stethoscope, score sheets, and a stopwatch. So, let us now find out how the Harvard step test is conducted. The examiner will demonstrate the proper step-up technique to the subjects once before the test so that the subjects understand how it will be done. If a metronome is available, set it to a tempo of 120 beats per minute. However, if a metronome is not available, ensure that the examiner can count up, up, down, down movements 30 times in a minute. The subject will be given specific instructions. On the command up or the first metronome sound, they must place one foot on the bench. At the second command up or the second metronome sound, they must plant both feet completely on the bench while keeping their body straight, legs and back straight. Straight. After reaching the upright position, they must bring down the same foot that was previously placed on the bench on the command down, or on the third metronome sound. On the fourth command, down, or metronome sound, the subject will bring the other foot down. The subject will take two seconds to do this up, up, down, down once, and will be counted as one step. The subject has to perform this up, up, down, down exercise without stopping for five minutes, maintaining a pace of 30 steps per minute. The stopwatch is started at the same time as the subject's first takeoff and is stopped exactly five minutes later with a stop signal given to the subject. Then he will be made to sit on the bench. If a person stops or slows down an exercise due to fatigue, the duration in seconds of the exercise performed at the correct pace will be noted and they will be asked to stop and sit. Exactly one minute after the exercise, the examiner starts counting the pulse rate with the help of a stethoscope. This pulse rate will be recorded at intervals of 1 to 1.5 minutes, 2 to 2.5 minutes, and 3 to 3.5 minutes. Now let's look at how scores are recorded on the Harvard step test. There are two methods for this, the long method and the short method. In the long method, the fitness index is calculated by multiplying the duration of exercise in seconds by 100 and then dividing it by twice the sum of three pulse counts taken after exercise. For example, if a person completes five minutes of exercise, mean 300 seconds, pulse counts of 90, 65, and 45, the fitness index is calculated as 300 into 100 divided by 2 into 90 plus 65 plus or 45 is equal to 75. This score is then classified into fitness parameters, indicating the subject's fitness status as a high average. In the short method, the fitness index is calculated by multiplying the duration of exercise in seconds by 100 and dividing the first pulse count after exercise by 5.5 times. Using the same example, the fitness index would be 300 into 100 divided by 5.5 into 90 is equal to 60.60, .60, which would also be classified into fitness criteria, indicating the subject's fitness status as average. The Harvard Step Test is a valuable test to assess cardiovascular endurance and aerobic fitness. It has evolved over the years to accommodate a wide range of topics such as high school boys and girls, college women and others. I hope you found this explanation useful in understanding the Harvard Step Test. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please don't forget to like, share and comment. And yes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with my upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to me and it inspires me to make more videos like this. Until we meet very soon with the next test, stay healthy, active, and keep learning. Bye-bye.